I'm going to show you how you can prevent standard users from adding workstations and servers to an Active Directory domain. By default, a standard user account can add up to 10 devices to an Active Directory domain. So we're going to create a new security group and then only enable users within that security group to be able to add devices to the domain. So the first thing we want to do is open up Active Directory users and computers and then find somewhere to create our security group. So I've got an OU called security groups and in here, I'm just going to right click, select new and then group and then create a new security group. I'm going to call this enable domain join and then press OK. So now we've got our security group and then any users we add to this group will be able to add workstations and servers to the domain. So once we've got our security group, we need to then delegate some permissions to it. So I'm going to select our computer group, which is the default location for devices that get added to the domain. So if we right click and then press delegate control, we can then press next. We can then press add and then find our security group that we've just created. So if we just search enable and then check names, we can find our enable domain join group. Then press OK and then next. Then we want to create a custom task to delegate and then next. Only the following objects in the folder. And then we can select computer objects and then select create selected objects and then delete selected objects as well. We can then do next and then give it full control and then next and then finish. So now what we've done is we've essentially delegated permissions for the security group we've created to this computers group. This will enable anyone within this enable domain join group to be able to create user accounts in the computers group. The next thing we'll want to do is open up group policy management and then drill down to our default domain controllers policy. Normally you wouldn't want to modify the default domain controllers policy. However, in here there is a setting which is add workstations to the domain. And then by default, it's set to any authenticated user can add a workstation to the domain. And this is what we want to change. So if we right click our default domain controller policy and then press edit, and then under policies, and then Windows settings, security settings, local policies, and then user rights assignments. We can find add workstations to a domain, double click, select authenticated users, and then remove. Then we can select add user or group, and then browse. Now the first group we want to add is domain admins. So then we can do check names, okay, and then okay. And then we want to go ahead and add the group we've just created. So enable domain join, check names, okay. So now what this will do is any user that is within domain admins or enable domain join will be able to add computers to the domain. And if they're not in that group, they will get a permission error. So we can apply and then okay. And then we can close our group policy editor. And then if we just refresh our default domain controller policy, we should be able to see that it has been updated. So add workstations to the domain and we've got our two security groups. Now, the last thing we'll want to change is if we open up ADSI edit, which is the Active Directory services interface, we can right click the ADSI edit and press connect to, then make sure we've got our default naming context selected and then press okay. And then if we select our domain and then select the DC, which is our actual domain, and then right click and go to properties. If we scroll down in our attributes editor and find ms-ds-machine account quota. By default, this is set to 10. This attribute is the amount of devices a standard user account can add to a domain. Now by default, this is set to 10. So if we'll just double click it, set it to zero. So now no standard user accounts can add anything to the domain unless they are in that security group we created before. So we can press okay and then close the ADSI editor. 
So now all that's left to do is test it. So if I come back to Active Directory and then find our security group, there's currently no one in it. So if I log on to a workstation, and in this example, I've just logged on to a different server, which is currently not on the domain. So if we come to our system properties and then add this to a domain, and then I use a standard account. So if I just use my standard account, which is just a standard user and it's not in any security groups other than the default. When I try and add this, we should get an error saying access is denied. So if I come back to my Active Directory, and just to show you, this is the user account I used, and it is a member of domain users only. So if I add this to the enable domain join security group, and then press apply, and then okay, this user account should now be able to add devices to an Active Directory domain. So if I try this again, and then do ed max slash dunning, and then the same password, this should let us add the device to the domain, which it has done. So now we know that's working. Any user account that is within this domain join security group is able to add workstations to our Active Directory domain. And if they are not in here, they will get an access denied. Now, something just to bear in mind, if they are also a member of domain admins, they will still be able to join things to the domain. So this is a way of doing this without actually giving them domain admin. They've literally just got the permissions to be able to add devices to the domain. And that is how you can lock down your domain join and then set it to only specific user accounts are able to add workstations to the domain.